So this number one is about understanding the relationship between fractions again. So kind of one idea, there's really two ideas here. <clears throat> the one idea is that zero of something is simply that. So <clears throat> zero over seven is equal to zero over nine. It's like <clears throat> zero ten dollar bills is the same thing as zero one dollar bills equal and it's the same thing here nothing of something is the same as nothing of something else <clears throat> But what you want to be careful of is this idea here. Get that erased. There's no such number as 9 over 0. Or 5 over 0. You can't have 5 of absolutely nothing. Right? So this, in math, is considered not a number. <clears throat> now these here have to do with the idea that the larger you, the denominator, or the larger the unit, is dependent upon one-third is one of three things, whereas one-fourth is one of four things. The more, the larger the bottom number, or the unit, the smaller each piece is. So I'm going to repeat that. The larger the bottom number, or the unit, the smaller each piece is, so that one-third is greater than one-fourth. One-sixth is greater than one-ninth. One-fifth is greater than one-seventh. And so if one of something, one-fifth is bigger than one-seventh, right, Let me do the fifths and the seventh, one-fifth, And one seventh, one fifth is going to be larger than one seventh, so two fifths will be larger than two sevenths. So that's how you can deal with those. These are just more like reasoning with size, right? So we know that one sixth is greater than one ninth, therefore, two sixths is going to be greater than two ninths. Which just makes sense. If you double this size and you double this size, this will still be bigger, right? So 2 6 is nothing but 1 6 plus 1 6, which is greater than 1 9th plus 1 9th, which is essentially 2 9th and 2 6. So 3 7 is there. Think about it, right? Hopefully you put, whoops. Hopefully you put that, and hopefully you put that. This has more to do now with knowing what the number one is. One here, this is one, has got to be greater than something less than one, because to make this one one, you would need 15 of them. That would be one, but you only have 13. So this is one here, but this is more than one. That many of that is one, but you have one more than that, so that's greater. Same thing here, this is more than one, this is less than one. So this is larger, and this is equal. 
any number divided by itself except for zero is one. So that's one. So now we're going to compare these. So it looks like HAB, understanding what HAB is, is very useful also. These are all equivalent to one half. I'm going to put an equal sign. Two fourths, three sixths, four eighths, five tenths. Now be careful, five and a half elevenths, right? Half of eleven is five and a half. So this is equal to half two. So all these are equal. So that's a good understanding of what half is to be able to look at these. So, 9 sixteenths is more than half because 8 sixteenths is one half. Half of 22 is 11. So, this is less than half. This is more than half. This one's larger. 0 0.6, 0 0.3, that's equal to one half. Half of 7 is 3 and a half. But you have five of these sevens, not three and a half of them. So this is more than half. I'll just put greater than one half there. That's the larger number. That's equal to one half, right? And that's equal to one half. They are equal. <clears throat> this is more than half because four and a half over nine would be half. But this is equal to half. So that one's larger. Half of 13 is six and a half. This is only five thirteenths, so that's less than half. This number is less than half. That number is half, so that's larger. And these are equal. Point 0.5 means five over 10, which is half. One half over one is also one half. Half of one is one half, so they're equal. This is just looking at decimals, right? Now, a lot of students think that this one's the larger number but let me show you this number here is nine tenths this number here is nine tenths plus zero hundredths plus zero thousands adding zero to a number does not change it these are equal this one here is seven tenths this num first number here that's eight one hundredths plus nine thousandths. This one is clearly bigger. And this one here, the four is in the tenths place. You have nothing in the tenths place. You don't need to go any farther. Four in the tenths place, zero in the tenths place. Okay, now we're combining fractions and decimals and gonna have to order them. Really careful, it says smallest to largest. So I'm looking for the smallest one here. Well, that's six tenths, that's zero tenths, that's seven tenths, and this is more than one whole. So here's the smallest number. I'm just gonna cross it out, 0 0.08. The next smallest number, well here's seven, six tenths, and some, but not enough to make seven tenths. So here's the next smallest number, 0 0.699. And then it's gonna be 0 0.7. And then the largest number is more than one. So five thirds, I'm gonna change that to a mixed number. That's gonna be one and two thirds. Or if you want to make it a sort of a decimal, that's 1.66 repeating. One third is 0.33. These are some of the ones you should just know. So it means two thirds is 0.666 repeating. So the smallest number here, eight tenths, zero tenths, so there's the smallest number right here. 0 0.08 tenths, eight hundredths. <clears throat> The next smallest number, there's eight tenths, seven tenths, eight holes, and one point, one and two thirds. So the next smallest would be 0 0.799. The next smallest is 0 0.8. The next smallest is 
five thirds or one and two thirds and then eight is the largest number. So there's the order from smallest to largest.